guys. Happy Friday. Yuck. I hate the weekends. I hate the weekends. Terrible. Terrible. So. Um, alright. So. Um, kind of getting back into my self. My wishy self. So. Um, I kind of wanted to talk t about. Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I have no clue. What did I want to talk about? I forget. So. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> Shielding. Shielding yourself from other people's negativity. And also pushing it back at them. <clears throat> Return to sender. So, uh, this is what I did this morning. Uh, I just kind of got up. It, it, it was, wasn't really an epiphany. Um, it was more like, hey, get to work kind of thing. So, I took a... I took an image, a picture, cut it out. Just enough to fit inside a small little petri dish, almost, or a little dish that you would put a teacup on. Um, so it's kind of, you know, not really a bowl, it's just a small dish. So then I lined it with uh, tin foil, uh, very tiny, because, you know, obviously tin foil is not biodegradable, so I don't like to use that. Um, I didn't have mirrors or anything to make a, uh, a box or anything like that, so, but, so I took the, um, one black candle to, uh, absorb, um, said person's negativity, um, so I charged it, charged it, charged it, charged it, with all of my energy, um, focusing on the end result, and then I dressed it with peaceful home oil, and I dressed it also with crushed alum, which makes people sh shut up, so, also anise, 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 or, yeah, anise, or, wait a minute, no, I, d I don't remember, clove, clove oil, that's another one to get people to shut up, just with their negativity and their negative mouths, <laughs> so, I mean, then a little bit of dragon's blood, um, just kind of sprinkled around just to empower it, you know, the working even more, um, what else did I do? So yeah, just empowered everything to the point of where I felt that anger, um, that anger and that rage, and then it went away. So, I put it all into that working. So we will have to see if it works. I will have to see if this works. If it's successful, I will publish it for you guys um, on my Patreon page. Um, I still to publish um, the Yule oil for you guys. Um, it really smells amazing. It is amazing. Very citrusy. Very, very citrusy. So, it's almost the solstice. Almost. Uh, we have a little bit yet, but... Um, so, uh, hopefully, and then, you know, I took my little mirror, I have a little tiny mirror with a, uh, kind of fake diamond on the bottom, it's two-sided, um, I placed, placed it right in front of, um, the black, the tiny black, uh, taper candles, spell candles, you can get them on, uh, Amazon for, like, $9.99 for a pack of 20, amazing deal. Um, so I took that and I faced it towards, um, the candle and the image of the said person. So just focusing all of my energy on, uh, uh, visualizing the person being nice, being kind, compassionate. Um, and then just, whoop, there you go. Uh, a little bit of peaceful home oil, I already said that. What else? Yeah, uh, my three quartz crystals that were programmed pointing towards inside the dish, the very tiny, and I have very tiny quartz crystals, 
So it was inside the dish, a uh, little uh, feature on this dish. So hopefully, and then tin foil on the bottom. So hopefully with the mirror and then the tin foil. So here's the mirror. Here's the dish with the tin foil in it. So it's going to reflect, bounce back. So it's going to make the person shut up, be nice, be kind, compassionate, um, and also reflect back, boomerang that um, negative energy back to the person. So um, if it does work, I will definitely blog it for you guys. Um, I, I it, it, cursing has been on my mind lately and uh, hexing, um, but then I thought, do I really want to waste my energy and my time? to do that? Uh, no, I don't. I really don't. It, 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 it is justifiable to do it in certain circumstances. But I just didn't feel like, uh, you know, either getting sick or uh, having that backlash because everything does have consequences. So, um, really going back through uh, uh, the book of uh, Baphomet, May, um, the little book the gold leafed pages going back and really looking at um, the tarot readings so it's really different it is really neat it's very interesting to see how from the beginning um, literally to, to the present so that would be the past the beginning of the book um, that was the past so basically throughout the whole thing <coughs> each card gets more positive and more positive and more positive so it's like um what is it like um it, it's it's like formations uh everything is you know a formation of you know uh, this next week uh, this ne this coming weekend is a formation of today just like a uh, reincarnation karma that it's basically formation not ordained by gods or goddesses N no destiny um, it is basically formations of the present so, guess what karma is anything that imprints on our souls um, we are conditioned by those things whether they're negative or positive so the more we are conditioned um, with those uh, say a negative uh, something situation it imprints on our souls, and then we gravitate towards that specific um, negative en uh, action energy. So that's really pretty interesting. Pretty interesting reading up of, um, about karma and uh, the soul, and how you know, you know, there's really we don't have like an ordained destiny it's just formations from the past formations from the present that lead to the next minute the next hour the next day so i thought that was pretty interesting to read um, so hopefully this little candle working does does its job um if it doesn't be pissed. Um, so yeah, so just the, the the cursing though. It's just it's been on my mind a lot, and, and I'm not really sure if I want to do that, um, or if I want to keep continuing to better myself for the situation. So it's it's pretty good, pretty good stuff. So very happy about it. Um, so yeah, that was just like, uh, I don't know, an inspiration, um, a small burst of energy this morning from I don't know where. It didn't really feel like my grandma, so I doubt it was her. Could have been. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, I think it'll work pretty well. Hopefully. I hope. I hope. I hope a 20-year-old picture works. Still. So. So yeah, it's been a, it seems like it's been a long day already and it's only like 1 o'clock. Oh my god, getting up at like a 6.45, 7. Yeah. Yeah. I'm becoming that morning person and I don't know if I care for it too much.
No, I liked it. It was really nice to get up and it's freaking foggy. Oh my god. Literally, it looks like the from the movie, The Mist. It is, it's just, it's peaceful looking. It's, it's nice. It's just everything, you know, this morning was great. Peace and quiet. I feel like I'm way too far down. Peace and quiet. And just all kinds of uh, just interesting stuff. Watched a whole bunch of stuff on Yule. Um, you know, the origins of Yule. Um, how, you know, the, the red, the blue, and the white, you know, represented uh, the red for the blood and the meat. Um, you know, that you get for the cooking, for your family, uh, which is represented by the red bulbs, the blue bulbs. I can't remember what they represent, I honestly don't know. Um, and the white ones, I can't remember those either. But it's pretty interesting, the, the history of Christmas, and then, you know, coming into Yule, which is, you know, the true, real Christmas. Yule, or Christmas, uh, which is the real Yule. I think I said that right, I don't know. Yule is the real Christmas, <laughs> so, on the 21st. So, and then it just, it was really interesting, you know, I just discussed about, um, you know, since they weren't sure, um, back in the day, uh, with the apostles, um, so it was a couple thousand years um, after the pagans created Yule and the Nords or the Greeks or whatever, the Romans, so they had, um, you know, like the Christmas trees and it was, you know, uh, the decorating the tree and, you know, it was all a, you know, pagan customs to do that and it was just really interesting stuff, amazing stuff, so. Santa, very odd, uh, different stuff, you know, Krampus, all that stuff, so I keep hearing these, like, thuds, like, booms, no idea, but just really interesting about the ornaments, um, just everything, everything, um, the gift giving that, you know, that originated with the apostles or the three magi. Um, going to visit uh, baby Jesus or, you know, Lucifer in uh, the manger uh, with gold, myrrh, and frankincense. So that's where that originated. So that's the beginning of our gift giving and the trees and decorating the trees and all of that. So I can't really remember much right now. I'm very tired. Uh, but it was, it was very interesting to actually read or hear that. So it's pretty neat really neat actually but so just really really nice stuff uh really good morning um watched uh oh if you guys didn't know the uh solstice um the solstice whatever um episode 11 of part one of uh the chilling adventures of sabrina uh mid winter's tale God, that was amazing. That was a great, great episode. So I kind of watched that this morning at like 8 o'clock. Uh, so I'm going to have to rewatch that tonight, definitely. It's totally different. It is wild. Um, I won't give away spoilers because I know a lot of people don't like that, but I really want to give away spoilers. Really bad. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it was a good, good episode. It could have been longer. Could have been longer, and I don't want to wait until April. That is a long time for the second season to come back out. So you guys need to do something again. You guys need to add another episode uh, instead of 11 episodes. Make it 13. Lucky 13. I think that would be great. So, but yeah, just a really cool. Uh, the synchronicities from last night, uh, you know, talking with a friend, uh, talking with a friend concerning, you know, negative energy and, you know, how to block it and all that good stuff. And, oh, I used fiery wall of protection oil too with that candle, so that helped, I guess. They think, I hope, um, I'm just going to forget about it and see what happens. So, but yeah, 
just crazy synchronicities between me and one friend. Uh, uh, last night, walking in the dark, uh, uh, we were literally both doing the same thing simultaneously, almost. Uh, only, like, just time difference, time zone differences. And so it was pretty interesting to uh, uh, see that. So, um, so, yeah, I'm just kind of wondering what kind of, uh, what kind of karma, uh, what kind of backlash I'm going to get from this working. I mean, it wasn't evil or anything, but it was still controlling and com commanding. But it was too, you know, for safety for certain people, so I don't think there would be a, a repercussion for that. But I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong, I probably am, so, who knows, so yeah, so yeah, I think I'm actually going to do my Yule Log, um, I don't know, maybe this weekend, if I can find it, oh, I think I burned it, shit, yeah, I did burn it, um, I'm just going to do a Yule candle this year. A Yule candle and, you know, dress it up and make it look really nice and, you know, have the colors to represent, you know, the red for the blood. Um, you know, all the different, you know, the, the Star of David on there. Since, you know, we're drawing from uh, Hebrew and all that good stuff. Um, maybe not the Star of David, maybe both. The Star of David is in a, essentially a pentagram. So. Maybe, you know, the pentagram and then, you know, the Star of David. And then just, a, you know, sigils and uh, different runes for the coming year, for the winter, for uh, the Horn God. Since, you know, the, the maiden is, you know, turning into the crone now. So yeah, we'll see. We will see what comes about. It's just very interesting, very interesting time of the year. It's, it, very similar to Samhain, um, is what I'm gathering. Uh, I've never really delved this uh, deep into Yule, but it is a tween time, so lots of mischievous spirits. <laughs> mischievous spirits, uh, just all kinds of amazing things happening. Sorry guys. I hate chop clips. So. But yeah, so I, bleh. that's pretty much it. My, pretty much my morning. Um, I just thought it was so interesting though, the whole thing on, uh, you know, Yule again. The entire thing. What the hell? I hope those aren't guns. So, yeah. Um, this is very interesting. And then reading about more crystal magic, uh, kind of refreshing my brain. I'm trying to get myself back to me. Back to where I was when I uh, went downhill. <laughs> when I went downhill. One video to the next day. Kaboom. So, um, trying to do just as much as possible. As much as possible. I honestly did not think I would come out of that alive. I honestly thought I was going to die. <laughs> uh, but that's a Virgo. That's a typical Virgo. Um, analytical typical Virgo. I think the worst of everything, so it's, it's obvious that I thought I was going to die, but, um, yeah, totally overgrade him now, uh, don't want him. Um, I miss the energy, yeah, but, um, I was already manic before with tons of energy and very hyper, so, um, the gabapentin now, I mean, it, it is working wonders, wonders. It's great. No pain. I mean, it's still kind of dull. You know, a dull global muscular pain. 
but with, you know, uh, a very low dose of, you know, a non-narcotic um, muscle relaxer is, you know, what, you know, helped me. It's been helping me for almost a month now, so yeah, I'm impressed. I'm amazed. I hope I don't run out. <laughs> Doubt I will. But it's just, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a really cool how everything has just kind of turned. Just turned around. Uh, let's say last night um, I drew, let's see, the judgment card. Um, and that represented, you know, basically the end of um, a time period. Well, obviously, we're going into 20... <coughs> 2019. It was a really, really good card. A really good card. Uh, refreshed, rejuvenated, a breakthrough. Um, and that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling a breakthrough in uh, all aspects of my life. Um, not just my spiritual life. Not just my physical health. Um, everything's just adding up and just becoming uh, better. Better for me. Um, people, some people have noticed um, a difference in me, a good difference, um, I, I notice a good difference, I don't have an attitude anymore, um, well I do, I always have an attitude, uh, towards sort of ridiculousness and stupidity, but, uh, I get that honestly, <laughs> so, it's very interesting, very interesting how, you know, these, you know, modern medicine, really helps, really works if you need it. So, I don't know, it kind of makes me hyper though, the gabapentin, and overly hungry all the time. I think last, yesterday, oh my god, I ate so much. Oh, I had so much to eat, and then I went on and I ate sushi. It was amazing, it was the best thing in the world, so. Yeah, I'm very grateful for that. Um, still, it just, it still blows my mind that these people, you know, want to quit Kratom and sitting on the Naku group, um, all these people <laughs> tried to quit Kratom, I, I ran out of Kratom, day one, they didn't even make it 24 hours, I made it 24 hours, until I freaking hit the ground, so, I can only imagine how these people are going to deal with their issues, which is a scary, very scary, um, I don't wish, you know, what happened to me on anybody, but it's gonna, if that's how you, it's gonna happen to a person, just replacing one thing for another. And literally, that's what I did too. I mean, going to the doctor, you know, getting, you know, blood work, uh, a full examination, you know, for, you know, to rule out because, you know, fibromyalgia is not, um, it's, it's a syndrome of symptoms, so you have to rule out almost everything. So the blood work, autoimmune system diseases, MS, Crohn's, uh, Parkinson's, all that. Um, so all that's ruled out. Thank God, except for rheumatoid arthritis um, and the irreversible uh, joint damage. But I, I think I'll be all right. Um, I'm young enough, I think, I hope, to kind of <clears throat> get myself back. So lots of uh, exercise, lots of yoga, um, eating healthier, a lot healthier. Um, I, ha I hated yogurt until I found Greek yogurt. Uh, so that's you know been a big a big change. It's, it's great. It has all these, you know, uh, living cultures and, you know, probiotics and all this good stuff for you. And it's just been amazing. So, um, so well, just a few tips for people that are, you know, coming off of it. Go to your doctor and be honest and tell them what you did and tell them that you want to quit. Um, and then for me, different um, oils like uh, ginger for muscle pain, um, muscle relaxers, <laughs> I know, it's still, still, it's better, it's better than Kratom, it's better than Kratom, so, um, the positive support system, you have to have a positive support system, or nothing, it, it, you're just not going to get anywhere with it, you're going to just stay in the same situation that you are, and go back to Kratom, probably if you can. So yeah. So yeah, you, you start gaining weight. 
you start to gain weight because you only, you know, the kratom suppresses your appetite and you're speeding, you know, all the time. Um, so that sucks. And now I'm finally back down to earth, not, you know, a, a day ahead of the earth, which is amazing. It feels good to be present, to acknowledge, you know, the fear, the pain, the paranoia, the good and the bad. So it has been a huge blessing, kind of. Kinda. But it's funny that the people that, you know, turn on you, your, your real life, you know, friends, you know, like a, a few of my own, my own friends here, you know, since, you know, I got sick, have turned into total, uh, dickwads towards me because I got sick and, you know, blah, 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 and, well, yeah, hi. Sorry, but, you know, I don't care. My health is way more important than anybody. <laughs> I have to put myself first, or I couldn't do this for you guys. I couldn't do Ouija for everybody. I couldn't do spell work, I couldn't do readings, I couldn't do anything. So, if I wouldn't have gotten the help I did, I probably would have died, so. What, what's, yeah. Air and a cup of coffee. What's going to balance out? Nothing. So yeah, it's just weird. It's weird how people are. I don't know. You get sick in there. They flee. They go away. And, you know, going into, you know, I'm finally getting out. Going into places. And it feels so good to actually go into places with no anxiety. <coughs> Not really care what people are, you know, thinking, you know. Um, I went so, you know, for a while with my, my natural, you know, I colored my hair back to my natural and then bleached it out and it's so, yeah, blah. Um, so some people don't notice me now, which is good. Um, there's certain people that I do want to just, you know, be like, uh, no more you. So yeah, it's just, it, this is a shady town, a shady, shady city with shady people. About 80, 90% of the people are very shady. 95%. Yeah, 95% um, of the... I'm not in my 20s anymore. Far from it. Um, most people in their 20s, late 20s, are very, um, just shitty. Um, I don't get that. I don't get how you can go from being like that with somebody and then nothing. So I, I, I don't understand people. So I'm trying to figure it out again. I'm trying to figure out people. I was so just covered, you know. Um, I had my rose-colored glasses on big time. And I didn't realize it, but it was probably happening at that time uh, that those people were shady. They were already shady people, not to be trusted, so. That's just, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, you really learn who your true friends are, don't you? I hope the people that know are watching this or will watch this because they know who they are. Um, I don't know, I'm going into the liquor store yesterday, not for myself because I obviously cannot drink, but I do want some champagne. Definitely want some champagne. And soon. One of my, my friends used to be just shitty, really shitty. Uh, because I was pretty uh, loopy. I had just taken, you know, my, my afternoon meds and I can't drive. So, you know, my mom has to drive me um, because I can't drive on this medication. Everything is just tilted and it feels like you're on a constant merry-go-round. Um, don't send me any more friend requests, people. I'm not going to be um, adding any more people onto my um, my page. You can find me on my public page. So my page is going to be more for family and very close friends. 
and mostly of the Ouija community, so um, that's okay. So yeah, um, I don't know, just people are bitches, that's all I can say is that they're bitches. So, uh, what else? Let's see some coffee talk. Let's see. So I have had, well, I have heard that people are being paid to actually go to people's YouTube um, and all these different groups for, you know, uh, obviously we are an alternative religion. Um, we're not, you know, mainstream religion. Although people are turning to witchcraft more these days, which is very good. See, let's do comments. But yeah, um, to attack. Yeah, these people, I guess I've heard that they're, you know, being paid to attack. Uh, like the pagan community, if you're not Christian, you're gonna get attacked for this and this and this. What the hell, get, get alive. Okay. Alright. Such as life. Oh my Lou, you make me happy. May is getting closer. I know. Oh, May. Yes, it is. It is getting closer. I am so excited. I am so excited. All right, stoned poetess. Poetess. Hi. <laughs> I like your name. I like your name. All right. Hi. I'm Sunshine. Hi, Sunshine. I would be very interested in speaking with you through email about your thought ritual. Ooh, yes, you can definitely email me, um, Ryan, R-Y-A-N-J-E-S-P-I-C-H, at gmail.com. I would love, love to talk about it. Please let me know if you would like to allow me to bend your ear. I really enjoyed this video. Thank you very kindly. I love your style and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I would love to talk about it. I love Thoth. That's my, my, uh, my chosen, well, my... Evidently, I got chosen, um, but that's my uh, patron deity. Oh my God, Thoth and Isis. So I would love it. Susu, I love you. Hi, kiddo. Hi, hi, my love. Good morning. Good morning, Susu. I love you. All right. Let's see. Is that it? Marjorie, hello. How are you? I hope you're well. Alright, Sacred Realm, hello. How are you? I hope you are well. Alright. Hex again, blessings. Blessings to you. Mr. Dark Prince Lucy, are you up to no good today? Better be. Alright. Okay. Pammy, Pammy Rogers. Hi, my darling. I love you so much. Alright. Chewy, what if I make a widget board from paper? Did you make one yet? Did you do anyone, any kind of board yet? Tried any kind of spirit communication? So I hope the video about just brushing up on spirit communication helped. So, let me know. Let me know how you... How you like it. Alright. Huh. Shout out, Wired Ferret. Hi, my darling. How are you? I hope you are well. Alright. Sheila Nagel. Hi, my darling. How are you? Are you? Jen Gemini, I love you so much. Scar Zeno? You realize Satan's name is Lucifer. No, Satan is Christian. Lucifer is pre Christian. Sorry. Uh, Anita Joe Garrison, hi, hi, how are you? It's been forever. 
I'm so freaking proud of you, and you look gorgeous. Aw, oh, thank you, yes. I'm on, like, day 45 of no kratom. I feel great. I do. I really feel great. It's amazing. It is amazing. Alright. Dr. Something. Kyorg? Kyorg? Kyorgy? Hello. Oh. It's been amazing to see how far you've come, Ryan. I'm glad you came out of this issue uh, in your life and decided to speak out against Kratom. Oh yeah, you're doing great. Hang in there and keep up the amazing work. It just keeps getting better and better every day. Every day it just keeps getting better and better and better. It's great. It's seriously great. With no Kratom, it's perfect. It's very perfect. Savannah smiles. Hi, my darling. The High Priestess connecting the realms. Shout out. Hi. How are you? Alright, Lady Witch. Hi, my darling. Drew's Paranormal Vlog. Hi, my darling. I miss you. How are you? D. Marie? D. Marie. Do I know you? Are you D? Are you my D? Maybe? No? Heart, heart, heart. Heart, heart right back at you. Alright, Sam Wright, if it's draining, take a break. Mm, that's actually what keeps me going. It's actually what keeps me going. Alright. Love you all the way from me to send back down again, dear friend. <laughs> I love you, Marjorie. I love that the Venus has stuck. I love it. Scott Salvador? Salvador? I get you don't like or do Kratom. No, I don't. It's for stupid. It's seriously stupid. What drugs do you do? Nothing. I don't do drugs. Coffee? Caffeine? Um, CBD? That's not a drug. So. Huh. Lady Witch. Oh my gods, I remember that. That's her. How cool. I feel bad for her and her family, though. I'm so sorry for people, Irene. Not all of us are like that. I still want to go and explore. I really, really, really want to go into um, more of the history of her. And I want to find out more about her. Um, I wonder, I don't know if my grandpa, because she is, let's see, she died um, in her 60s that if I remember so I don't know my grandpa has really gone down with uh, dementia so I don't know if he would remember anything or no um, kind of want to ask some people and see if they if they've ever heard about her if they if they know about her um, just anything anything really so I'm just, I'm, I'm very into just this history, you know, the witch history, you know, that happened before Salem. Um, Salem gets all the credit. I don't think it, you know, they should. Um, I think it's ridiculous. It's just for, you know, publicity. That's my opinion. Oh, hmm. boneless rocker. Yeah, you need to grow a backbone and stop taking Kratom and face your problems. So please call the FDA at, uh, oh, okay, here guys, you guys, if you guys want, you guys can call the FDA and tell them, um, how awful Kratom is. So the number is 1-855-543-3784. So, Boneless Rocker, I will, actually I did call and tell them my experience. I emailed them as well and told them how horrible it was. And that they should ban it. So... I will definitely do it again. Thank you for the reminder. Alright. 
it. Um, hmm. Okay, Karanu? Can't say I agree with you or really any of this, aside from regulation, but your voice and facial expressions are exceptionally comforting. You're exceptionally not comforting. Thank you. You're exceptionally kind of annoying. Mystic UFO pirate. Oh my god, I love you. How are you? I hope you're well. Alright, I see all. You just changed your name again on me. What is going on? Jesse? Yes, yeah, Jesse. I know that's you. Daria, Daria, come on. Sister Lee, uh, where are you? How are you? I, I hope you're okay. Morgana, uh, Hornwork? Hornwig. Hornwig. Hello, how are you? Uh, shout out. Alright, Daria. Bro, my darling, I think your videos are the one thing that keeps you grounded to what is normal in your life. I'm very glad that I did the videos while I was on Kratom, or while I was doing the withdrawals. I should have actually um, I should have actually showed um, the videos. Um, if I would have had the energy, if I would have had the strength to actually film myself if I would you know I wasn't thinking you're not thinking when you're in that much kind of pain um, but when uh, now that I think about it it would have been really good for people to see um, the the agony the rolling around on the floor the screaming and the crying the you know the punching I just punched and punched my legs until they were black and blue until they were black and blue that's something and I love it, especially I know I've said this before but the commercial of the lady that publicly went um, but she was on opiates those are nothing Just nothing to get off of opiates no kratom is worse for me it was um, she uh, she did her video or she was publicly doing it in Times Square uh, withdrawal from opiates that's what I wanted to show. The the most grotesque and the the uh, the total just insane debauchery and you know insanity and, and psychosis and all of that. That's really what I wanted to <coughs> show. But this was the last thing on my mind besides. Yeah, so this was the last thing I was thinking. I didn't even think about doing anything on, you know, video. All I thought about was, um, am I gonna die? Or am I gonna live? <laughs> I live, so that's good. Thank God. So, but yeah. I don't know. Just a rambly kind of, just... Jumbo. Pot of jumbo. And actually, the sushi sounds really good. Yeah. So, has anybody decided on the Yule ritual? Anybody? Because I think that would be, I think it'd be pretty cool. So, um, I have written out quite a bit in my new journal. Um, that I really didn't get a chance to write in. Um, I think it's going to be a better Yule this year than it ever has been since I understand it better. My brain isn't clouded. I'm not clouded. I'm more clear-headed and I can fully, you know, grasp the concept of Yule now. So I just, I think it'd be really cool for all of us to do something like that. So. Um, I think that's it for today. So, I'm tired.
tired and hungry and I have to clean again, so. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Yes, definitely tomorrow, so. Um, I love you all very much. Thank you guys for all the comments, um, all the amazing stuff going on. Um, and yes, I will blog that all on my Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Mr. Ouija. Um, so yes, I love you all very much with all my heart. All the way from Venus. All the way back down. So, yes, and I am retaining water. These never, ever used to be that tight. Everything is tight now. So, alright guys, I'm going to shut up. So, I love you all, and everybody have a great weekend. So, I will see you guys tomorrow.